15 minutes. Hey guys, it's Pastor Scott and we're out here just leaving the God's Ten Commandment Park and I'm going to record a 15 minute video um, to see if this thing still works. <laughs> so I had the last video you, hey Rosa, the last video you saw if you were watching was me trying to get a little bit, uh, how would you say it, creative. There's counterweights on this stabilizer, this image stabilizer. Let me just turn this back this way. Yeah, that seems to work good. So there is counterweights and you have to balance this smooth Q stabilizer to get the uh, best shot and to, and to keep it level so that it keeps, keeps everything smooth for you guys. So I was having a tr problem with my uh, case, my OtterBox. I wasn't able to use it so I have to take the phone out of the OtterBox and I don't really, didn't, wasn't really feeling too comfortable with that. And I still don't, but it looks really nice, right, honey? Yeah. Nice, right, a red phone um, mm -hmm. and then the black uh, smooth cue. It looks really neat, but my phone is exposed. But I guess if I'm gonna drop this, any of this, it's gonna be the catastrophe anyway because the, the stabilizer would you know, possibly get hurt and everything. So. I'm gonna record a 15 minute video while we're driving. We're gonna go um, get something uh, for Diana. She likes soup and she's gonna go get her pho. We actually found a Vietnamese place that's pretty good up here. There's only two of them that we know of in the Kalispell, Montana area. And um, the one that's over there uh, that we tried the first time by Little Caesars in the thrift store, the Goodwill store over there, seems to be the best, right, hun? Mm -hmm. So we love this drive and I'm gonna flip this around and I have to talk and go for 15 minutes. So I apologize for the length of this video, but I wanna go the length, past the length of where the last video quit because the, uh, the phone stabilizer tilted. It just gave up, the, the back of it got so warm that you could actually smell it and Diana felt it and it was warm, huh honey? Yeah, so we put the fan on it and uh, cooled it down. So we hope and pray that it works better. But go ahead, I'm gonna flip this around so you guys can see this. But look at this view, this is cool. This is going into Columbia Falls from the God's Ten Commandment Park. Just beautiful, and I'll pan to the right here. Go ahead, whoops, pan to the right. Sorry for the glare. Got to keep the windows rolled up so that you guys don't get the sound from the driving. But right here, as you can see, look at the river. Isn't that nice? Let me see if I can get you guys to see that a little bit. And then we got these signs everywhere. Look at this one. You're going to see, oops, right here, right coming up right about now. Jesus, an active word church. That's from the God's Ten Commandment Park from us and Philip and the team. So I have this on the lock mode. No matter which way I turn it, it is stable. So the only way that it'll move, the car is moving to the right. So I got to pan it over here a little bit. So we're just driving. And like I said, I... I have to go about 15 minutes to beat the time that the last time I used this when the stabilizer just quit out the back. I'm touching it right now as you can see. It is not warm. I have my iPhone 10 XR is downtown. Columbia Falls, Smith's is that way. Farmer's Market is usually right there. What, Thurs Thursday. Went Thursday? They closed the hamburger truck down here, I believe, because there wasn't enough people to work it, from what someone was telling us yesterday. So this is Columbia Falls, Montana. And this is, it's about traffic time. It's 519, so this is traffic for 
Columbia Falls. It's not usually even any, hardly any cars. This is like a pretty main city around here. Then we pray against this lousy casino in the name of Jesus that the Lord will tear all these down and just uh, get rid of them. Tempting people to sin and to drink and do all that stuff. It's not good to spend their family's money and fortune on a chance to win. It's just not right. So anyway, we're going through. Looks like we got about nine minutes to go. So sorry for the length of this, like I said. But at least you guys are getting a little bit of view. Let me pan around here. See the neighborhood. Sorry for the car window thing there. And Diana still got her hat on. She's absolutely adorable. Pray for Mudman Burger right there. Been some allegations of some um, sort, and they actually shut it down. And that was a wonderful ministry that we just loved. Missionaries were working there from around the world, and uh, they would go on mission trips and such. But the devil is a liar. Whether or not the man did what they said he did, doesn't matter. The Lord forgives. And so should we. So, and we're coming up to, I think we passed the, did we pass the thrift store, Allen's thrift store? On the left side. Okay, this is our brother Alan Christian, Christensen, if I'm not mistaken. Right there, a little thrift store. And he has dedicated his store on to the Lord. He's got a Ten Commandments banner right above the business. I mean, he ain't shy about the gospel. And the Lord is blessing his business. I mean, that place is always packed. Seems like it's doing really well. I don't know how he is doing financially, but the thrift store is growing and always got good stuff. People in there shopping. Now we're going to be coming out of Columbia Falls, just like that. I mean, as far as the downtown area. And uh, we're going to be going up here. Got about seven minutes left, guys. So hang in there. I don't know what else to say, but just show you what's going on. This is Columbia Falls, Montana. Me and Diana are on mission trip up here to help uh, with Godsten.com. Uh, Philip and Susie with the mission to blanket America. Hello, Jose. The blanket America with God's word. So we co-labor with them and they co-labor with us. We complement their ministry. They complement ours. Me and Diana are into service and preaching of the word. We love to do outreaches, tent revivals stadiums, basketball courts, anything to do with open air preaching uh, and helping the poor and whatnot. That is our heart. So let me pan over here. Let's get past the car here. Hey, Oscar. I am trying a test run on this image stabilizer because I was not happy with the fact that I have to take my phone case, take the phone out of the phone case to use this in landscape mode. I have an otter box, and it's not a big bulky otter box, but it's too heavy for the balances and counterbalances. So I came up with what I thought was a clever idea to help balance it, was put a couple of cross necklaces on a little bendy tie to help balance it. But about 12 minutes into the last video, you guys can see at the end, the phone just drops to the left. And then when it did that, I turned it off, and um, it was really hot. And we got some car smogging up here. Ouch, that's gross. Good thing we got the AC on and that's inside. So anyway, the phone dropped. And it failed. The stabilizer failed. In the last video, what, honey? Yeah, oh yeah, we're gonna, I think you guys might make it to Glacier International. Sorry again, like I said, for the length of this video. I am trying to go past the time where my image stabilizer failed last time. I had put some crosses on the right side to even out the weight so that I thought that it would be able to work with my with my 
OtterBox case on here because right now I had to take it out, but it failed. And when I took it off, you could smell it. It was hot and it was warm and it was a little bit uh, scary, huh, Bubba? And so we let it cool down, we put the fan on it, and now I have the phone out in the case the way that it is supposed to be. And we got to go past the 12 minute mark to see if it'll still, if it'll still work. So I have it on stable mode where it locks everything so I can pan up and down and to the left and to the right, but no matter what, it should be pretty stable for you guys, even though the car might, like I said, if I go down here, you could probably see the front of the car and as we go over bumps, the car will move, but the camera will stay put, giving you guys a wonderful viewing experience, amen? So we're going to be coming up on Glacier International Airport. Look at the, this is what you would call Big Sky Montana. Look at that, I'll pan up. Just beautiful, isn't that? Look at that. We can go up there. You guys are along with us on mission. The mission here in Montana is to keep the God's Ten Commandment Visitor Center open from 9 to 5. And to get God's Word out into the public. We got magnets, hats, banners, and the such. And uh, we want to get them out in the public and have people display God's word. And that's the mission. To blanket America with uh, at least two 10 by 20 banners with God's word on it. Be it the Ten Commandments or just Jesus or Choose Life or whatever message we have on our websites you guys can check out gods10ca.com or go to oneaccordcrusades.com click on the drop down and click on God's 10 and you can see some of the samples there's a lot more than what I put up there but I just wanted to give you guys an idea so I'm just going to pan that to the right so you can see all those hay bales isn't that cool it is harvest time and as the Lord said, the harvest is plenty, but the workers are few. Pray to the Lord of the harvest that he'll send workers. So, Lord, we pray right now in the name of Jesus that you'll send more workers into the harvest. Amen. And right now, that is Kalispell International Airport, just to the right. Uh, then just slow down and let him pass in front of you. Don't stress out over it. That's yeah, okay. Let him do you and just turn your blinker on. Turn your blinker and the guy knows that you're doing something back there and he'll relax. So my wife's going to let this truck pass. We were trying to go faster or slower and he just wasn't having it. So anyway. So here we are. Kalispell International Airport. Or no, not Kalispell. This is Glacier yes. International. Yeah. So if you were to come here to serve with us, you would either drive or you would fly in to here and we'd pick you up. You're more than welcome to come join us for a day or a week or a month or months. We'll figure out where to put you. The Lord will supply. We have tent revivals as well, generally, the past two years. Three, four years, actually. But we and Diana have been hosting them with uh, Philip and Susie at the God's Ten Commandment Park for the past two years. 100 days last year. In a couple of months of revivals here every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Last year was 100 days straight. And then I got this ready for you guys. Glacier Park International Airport. Diana has picked up our Oma and Oma here. They visited us three, four weeks ago. Had a wonderful time. She said it was real easy. Just pulled up, picked them up, and not much of a hassle was really really easy for her to to pick them up unlike LAX or some of the other major airports that we've been to so as soon as my phone sounds off I can stop yapping so I think you guys might have seen the video earlier that we just released the GoFundMe for the Belize trip in December we're calling it uh, December hope because every December God's 10 and the team goes down with several people and we bring uh, banners and magnets 
sometimes pencils and Bibles, and we go out into Belize, and we find people that want to say yes and put God's word up in the banner on their property, just like that property right there should have one in the name of Jesus. And then we go and we speak at churches and orphanages and get the kids all excited, and we got buttons for them and uh, have outreaches. And then there's also a uh, Christmas parade, and we are in it, and we have banners and things, and we pass out 5,000 chick tracks. So we just have a wonderful time. So it sounds like we are good. It made it. Let me touch the back here. It's not even barely, barely even warm at all, if any. So it looks like we're back in business. We didn't break the new stabilizer. Praise God. Thank you for praying, whoever it was, if you were. And uh, just keep us in prayer. Because we have uh, this last week in the revivals, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We will be going live as usual. And uh, Sunday, we're going to have a big potluck, right? We'll have uh, guest speakers. Uh, Buck, myself, Pastor Bob, and Pastor Sam will be preaching 10 to 15 minutes each on Sunday. And then a potluck afterwards. We'll have two cameras active. One fixed on the front, which is my camera. And then from my wife, Diana... Ertica's account from time to time we will take up the image stabilizer and do some candid shots from around the tent alrighty maybe when someone's preaching or show you uh, things that are going on as they're going on alrighty so God bless you guys we love you thank you so much for your support if you need anything at all call us at 1-855-70-JESUS God bless